Hello everyone, uh, it's Dmitry Anoshin in Cephalytics and I'm answering one of the questions from subscribers. And the question was related to DBA, Database Administrator. Obviously, the database administrator is a popular role, especially it was very popular maybe 20 years ago. Then we, ha we had lots of on-premise uh, databases like Oracle, Teradata, and you, you have to have a dedicated uh, specialist like database administrator who can manage the database, who can install it, who can install the patches, uh, who can do the backups of database, and so on and so on. Nowadays, most of the database workloads move to the cloud, Often we have the platform as a service or software as a service. Obviously, lots of those things, uh, they automated or they covered by the vendor. Okay, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, they provide a bunch of utilities that can automate these. We also DevOps best practices, how we can use infrastructure as a code and automate all those routine things. The bottom line here that the job as a database administrator is uh, less popular and it's hard to get the job. The good things about this job that they have the good skills, they understand how the database works, they understand the database internals, they know how to tune the database, they know the SQL, they have good knowledge of the database world. And as you know, that 80% of all analytics workloads coming from the database, even if it's lake house, it still feels like database with the SQL. In my opinion, the DBA role is outdated. And if you still have in your resume a DBA role, you could be out of the market or it could be really hard to get the job. Of course, there are lots of enterprise organizations or financial institutions, uh, insurance, health, they still uh, rely on their legacy systems, they might have on-premise, they still need DBA. Obviously, your compensation package is not that high, you're limited to the job offering and you need to go to the office. You're missing the good salary compensations, you need remote work, so that's why it's good to invest time and actually understand what to do. The options I see from DBA roles, assuming the skills is really valuable and important, the options I see, you either can go to analytics roles, uh, moving to data engineer, because you obviously have DLI, you know how the Git works, you, you basically have some engineering experience, you just need slightly understand how the business uses the data and how you can help the business uh, to collect the data, how you can build infrastructure in the cloud and, and how to make use of this and grab a bit more skills for you to be a data engineer. Alternative, you can move to DevOps role. It means you need to ma manage not only databases, everything nowadays happening in the cloud. So you need to be pretty good in the cloud, either AWS or Azure or less popular GCP. The good way to start is, for example, finishing training like Azure Solution Architect, and then choose the specialization right? so with Azure DevOps, Azure Data Engineer. You definitely need good hands-on experience in the cloud. And then if you decide to go into DevOps, it's also the option, then you will need to learn what nowadays the practice for DevOps infrastructure is a code, how you can provision Kubernetes, for example, how you can uh, use the Terraform, how you can use the Helm chart, how you can automate the scripts, what's the data observability, what tools you exist for data observability, and how you can build and manage reliable infrastructure. So this is DevOps, and alternative is data engineering. So there's two roles that closest to you, and I think it doesn't matter how many years you have of DBA, even if it's 20 years, with like, like this you can change your resume and write that the last 10 years you work as a data engineer or DevOps. Usual approach, you just go through the interviews, you fail the interviews, every failure is a big success, and then you're coming to the most popular roles. It's uh, DevOps or data engineer. There is one role very similar to DevOps, it's called Site Reliability Engineer. So I think it's really related to DevOps, but again, it, it requires some learning curve. There are good books in Aureli about any of those roles. For example, the Surfalytics supports a lot for data engineering, analytics engineering, basically can, can convert anyone from any background, technical, non-technical, to the data professional. And I have a bunch of examples then people after three, four months of hard self-learning and building the pet projects, understanding what's the requirements, understanding the pain points for organizations, they succeed and get the offer. And I hope I answered the question. <laughs>